What up, Heart Squad? Today we're opening Neo Revelation packs in search of Shining Pokemon once again. Last week we opened up Light First Edition Neo Destiny packs. And we pulled a Shining from one of the lighter packs. We also pulled a holographic, which didn't really make sense. But for today's video, we are opening up the following six Neo Revelation lighter packs. Because that is where our chances lies at pulling one, if not two, of the Shinings from Neo Revelation, the Shining Gyarados, and the Shining Magikarp. Now, the Leonhard question of the day, I would love to know from out of those two, what's your favorite Shining? Is it the Magikarp or is it the Gyarados? I personally want to pull the Magikarp. I've never pulled either of the two, but if we pull one today, maybe two, I want to pull that magic card. So we will see. Opening up all of those packs. They're all from my personal collection. Doing this for fun. Just like the first edition Neo Destiny packs last week. Uh, I also have a surprise. Which it's more vintage packs. And I'll be opening those up too. Later on in the video at some point. But stay tuned for that. In the meantime. Let's get a closer look at this beauty once again. This is the first edition, you can't really see the stamp too much, but I want you to notice something really close, and that would be right over here. It says, it's so powerful it can knock down a mountain with Hust one arm. Well, I love those Hust, but it's supposed to be just, and I know people were pointing that out last time, however, that is basically the H instead of the J, is how all of the error cards for Shining Tyranitar were printed. Most of them were error cards, so it's not as crazy as you would think on such a special card like this one going Ultra Instinct Tyranitar, but I wanted to point that out. So thank you for pointing that out. But let us get into the first pack. Pack weights video will have been on screen. You'll notice the packs will vary in weights. I think this one was around 20.80-ish, which for Neo Destiny, that's a, that's a heavy pack in Neo Destiny. Uh, same goes with Neo Genesis, but not for Neo Discovery, not for Neo Revelations. It's so crazy how the pack weights works for these uh, older vintage -y packs. But I figured, let's open a set that, quite frankly, just, you know, it's a pretty rare set. And so, let's see what we can do. I will be surprised if we pull another holo, but you never know. That's what's fun about these types of openings. It's an experiment, and that is what we're doing today. Three cards, no more, no less, should be the card trick. And before we get into this, if you can Please consider subscribing to this channel, join the Heart Squad, join the community. And as always, if you enjoy these experimental type of vintage openings, please, please, please leave a like on this video. Let's get to 10,000 likes. It really does support the video and it also lets me know that you like these types of openings. Alrighty then, let's take a look at some artwork that you just frankly don't see often. A stencil Golbat, it's pretty cool. Very, very cool watercolor Parasect. It, like that is honestly, a absolute beautiful card. Wow. I'm not even just like saying that. That re oh, I guess technically I am saying it, but you know what I mean. I mean it. Unknown B for bad. Snubble with some Butterfree's about to eat it or something. Quagmire from Family Guy. Claymation. Remoraid. Unknown K for cool. Next up, very cool looking Ge Geodude. And then we have a skip to my loo, my darling. And I believe the next card should be where our destiny lies after this Quillfish. <laughs> then we shall pull Oi Raichu. All right, not bad. Look at that artwork on this Raichu. It's really interesting. I just haven't seen this card too often. Uh, you know what I want to do? Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in a sleeve because that's just a really cool looking Raichu. So that is the first Neo Revelation pack. 
let's get right into the next one. Very, very cool set. I have a feeling it just wasn't uh, printed as much as the other Neo sets. Because it does have Neo, it does have Shinings in it. Oh, they say that's why I'm doing the video, Leonhart. But you know what I mean, like, Neo Genesis doesn't have Shinings. It just has the T17, Typhlosion, and the Lugia. No Shinings. Ne same with Neo Discovery. So, uh, did I just do this right? Okay, cool. All right, got a balloon berry. Speaking of videos, best segue ever, right? Um, I did a cool collaboration with some big streamers, Carl Jacobs and Snap App, Sapnap. Um, if you want to go check out that video, uh, it's this. It was uh, this Tuesday's video. Go watch it. It's fun. It was fun. It was a stream, which I promise you, I'll eventually do that. Schweina, Farfetch loves the stick. Zubat stencil. I love these stencil type of drawings. Yukiko, that's the illustrator. Snubble, Remoraid. Claymation Goldine. Geodude. And a Skarmory non-holographic. Is that a is that Ho -Oh wings? Wait, it has to be, because Ho-Oh is in this set. I've pulled a Ho-Oh holographic before in this set, so I'm gonna guess that is. So Alright, so we got a Skarmory with more cool stencil drawings. Um you know what I'm going to do before we continue this opening? I want to open up one of the special surprise packs. That would be this one right here. Umbreon. And yes, it's Neo Discovery. And yes, I didn't want to open up this pack, but I figured this would make for some good content. Pack weight will have been on screen. If you'll notice, the pack weight for this pack was around 19.23 grams. That's extremely light. Like... This is probably missing a card on the inside. So what we're gonna do, because usually the pack weights, like lighter packs, like what, 20.40, 20.50 grams. This one was like a lot, like way down there. Like skipping them donuts down there. So we're gonna open this up, extra experimental test. Uh, and let's see if there's actually 11 cards on the inside or if there's just something funky going on with the pack weight for this. Um, um, I think it's three cards. I think it is. I'll just do this, but if not, you know, we just want to find out why this is the super lightweight pack. All right, please count the cards. Unknown D. Rune Wall. Uh, and just so we want to know, some of the good hollows are, um, uh, what was I forgetting again? Espion and Umbreon. Leonhard can think sometimes. What? 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 Are you kidding me? I was not expecting this! How is this so... Mind blown! What? How is this possible? Okay, I'm so confused right now. This was like the lightest pack in the world, and it had not just the hollow, it had one of the best holographics from the set waiting in it this entire time. Wow, there's no whitening on this thing. I think I just see a factory line going through the middle, but centering is perfect, no whitening. We just pulled one of the best cards from Neo Discovery in a pack that I had no idea should contain something like a hollow. <laughs> my gosh. We've done it, my boy. That's insane. All right. Um, okay, so that's three cards over here. Oh, is that a... No, it's not. All right, hold on. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's not only missing a card, there's the Espeon over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my gosh! So I was not only right in that this pack of Neo Discovery 
didn't have one card. It was missing one card. But to compensate for that, it had a holo. Oh my gosh. We still have so many packs to open. Oh my gosh, too. That's insane. That's absolutely mind blowing. You never know what you're gonna get on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. You never know. Why do I talk like from like New Jersey or something? Oh my gosh. Should we get back to the main point of this video before that just overtook the main point of this video? Uh, leave a like if that was some of the craziest you've ever seen. All right. Can we pull a shining now? Like maybe? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Um, That's insane. I'm stunned. Golbat. Lantern, my gosh. Seeking. Slugma. A Mustafar. Snubble. Goldie. Zubat. I'm I'm just in shock this whole time. Quillfish. I don't know if I can take your shining. Geodude. And a bird is the word! Uh oh oh! There we go. Not bad. And I still have another surprise pack to open up today. My gosh. All right. Um, bird is the word. Just got to admire them sometimes. Um, I'll put this one in a sleeve. I can't believe we pulled a hollow in my, like, the best hollow from it. Let's go with another one. Uh, and then I'll get into the surprise pack shortly. Again, I don't even know what is a surprise anymore at this point. Should we, can we pull two shinies in one pack? All right. Next Neo Revelation pack. Oh, that's creepy. Like jumping your window at night. Yeah, freezing kiss good night. Oh. Octillery. Unknown. Zubat. Skip to my loom. Quillfish. Geodude. Unknown. Star you. Shuckle. Don't mess with Shuckle. And another skarmory if you put both skarmories together you get the whole ho uh oh you get the whole wing of the bird <laughs> all right let's get into the next surprises pack now yes it is another neo discovery pack but on screen we'll, you will have seen the weight now this is not exactly a let's say lighter pack i think it was around 20 80 ish grams um the thing is at this point, there could be a holographic, and I'm not saying it because we pulled the Espeon, I'm saying it because 2080 is still in the realm of pulling something. So let's see if we can get the uh, row of Espeon over here, the Umbreon, from this Neo Discovery pack. All right, you better be enjoying this stuff. I'm just gonna say, yeah, really better be. All right. Oh no, the pack art flew off the slip. Okay. Um, oh wait, so the card trick was different. It was like three cards in, so I'm just gonna go. Like, I kind of remember it, but I don't want to fumble with the cards too much. Centret. Larvitar. Unknown E for excellent. Hop it. Dead Dunsparce. Raiders of the Lost Energy Arc. Unknown. Man, there are too many unknowns, man. Metapod. Pupitar. Unknown, surprise, underwhelming. In the rare is a Magnemite. Jeez. How did a Magnemite become a rare? I mean, it got a little like sonar in the background there, but wow. I mean, that's a cool looking card. Don't get me wrong. I love my Magnemite. However, a Magnemite that somehow became a rare. We are, that was the surprise. Surprise. All right. All right, we ain't done here. We got more Neo Revelation packs to open up today. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. All right. And really wanting to pull a Shining. I've never done it for Neo Revelation. We have for Neo Destiny several times, actually. Balloonberry. Lantern. Golbat. Farfetched, he loves the stick. Swine Up. Quagmire from Family Guy. Mustafar Slugma. Goldeen. Remoraid. 
And I think we have reached the second to last card of this pack. We still have more, so don't go nowhere. And a... Another Raichu! What are the odds of that? What are the odds of getting the exact same? At least we got the Ho-Oh, non-holographic. But we gotten two Raichus. Two Raichus for the price of one. But we did get the Ho-Oh Ho -Oh bird. This is very nice. And two Skarmories. Alrighty then. Before we get into the next pack, can we just say how incredibly surprised I was to pull this beautiful card? Espeon from Neo Discovery. Jeez. Alright. Let's see what we can do. More videos coming up this week. Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursdays is when I post my videos. Hopefully you stick around. Please consider subscribing to the channel and so you can take a look at new cards like Evolving Skies. I've been opening up a lot of those recently. And of course, vintage cards. So you get to check out this Dragonite who does have a beautiful alternate art in Evolving Skies. Pokemon Breeder Fields. Looks like a... Like, I did that card. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. I like it. It's different. It's just like... <laughs> the face. That is the face. No offense. Alright. Unknown B. Remoraid. Lots of appearances for Remoraid. Slugma on Mustafar. Snubble. Goldeen. Zubat. Unknown. Should be one more. Quillfish. Well, here we go. We have reached the final card. No matter what happens, including him pulling another Skarmory or Raichu, I think this was a pretty fun video. And if you want me to do more, please let me know in the comment section as well as leaving a like on the video. But we have reached the final card. A Sneasel non-holographic. Well, that's okay, my friends, because if you want some heated pools, go click on those videos right now. My name is Lean Hart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.